Now I'd like to show you some interesting things you can do with Oscillator Sync in the Excess. We're going to use Oscillator B because that's the oscillator that syncs its frequency to Oscillator A. So Oscillator A we've got set at 0 octave. Oscillator B we've got it set at 1 octave up. We're listening to a square waveform in the mixer. And that's what it sounds like. We've got our filter cut off just turned up, set to low pass. Resonance is kind of in the middle. And we've got a little bit of uh, envelope here for the filter modulation. We've got our mod wheel assigned to the filter cutoff, so as I move the, move the mod wheel, I can adjust the cutoff frequency here. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, first let's listen to this oscillator unsynced. That's what it sounds like. Now let's sync it. We can hear a little bit of tone difference already. Typical profit type uh, sync sounds, you want to have your envelope, which is going to be our filter envelope, sweep the frequency of oscillator B. And we can adjust our decay time or our attack time to vary that sound. Also in the modulation section, if we set up the LFO, to a sawtooth waveform and increase the amount, we can get a repetitive pattern. Or if we assign the sample and hold LFO shape, it sounds like this. Let's turn down our envelope modulation amount. Bring up our filter cutoff frequency. Alright, so that's just your typical uses of oscillator sync. One unique thing about the excess here is we've got sub oscillators that derive their frequency from oscillator B. So let's go ahead and turn down oscillator B and turn up our sub or wave C level. And so now we're generating a frequency that is one half the frequency of oscillator B, but since oscillator B is syncing its frequency to A, and we sweep this amount, you're going to hear unique little intervals happening uh, that you don't hear normally on oscillator B sync frequency. Let's give that a listen. Too much. Let's go back here. Let's go ahead and select the subdivision below that. And we can turn up our frequency here. And let's go ahead and turn up oscillator B's level again. And turn up oscillator A. Try a different subsetting. Add a little LFO modulation. All right, let's go back and steer out our modulations here and go back to our originals oscillator B waveform and listen to that. So there's our synced frequency. Let's turn up our envelope amount. So here we've got the envelope uh, sweeping that frequency and if we play a couple notes at a time you'll hear this. If we turn up the glide control you'll hear those two notes gliding. And you'll notice as we're holding one note and playing another note, it activates the glide time, but our envelope decay remains decaying off every time a new note is playing. If we go here and activate the key sync feature, every time we press a new key, it doesn't matter if we're holding one key and pressing another, it'll reactivate the slope of this envelope, 
causing that sync sound to hear be heard for every single key like this. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of how oscillator sync works in the excess and the neat little intermodulations you get when using the sub oscillator as well when it's syncing its frequency to sub oscillator B and A. Thanks.